Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of this sick animal's completion. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed him. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Kazakh player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Kazakh circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes. And lost countless more. But that was long ago. And things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits gets you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Two Finger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Two Fingers. Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Jioka kon molera, kien kon jo pesha, no ba molera ji. Chori yon tora anchi ay tapia, mula una chime ba molera slimo ang nakubisting. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endor Spire. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
tanki doba na ime čus ko čirska na johoha. Po toga ja vrte ko kola džiđi. Wacha nechu, ujang yon torom chueva, bola una chineca, va a moler a con mis king. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Deadeye Duncan! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the Mysterious Stranger! to do better than that to impress us, stranger. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Questions? I don't have to answer your questions just because you beat me in the ring. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, then. Eh! Chachis kadon puta kasabubaka ho 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 mo chao donga ya fulki ho 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 chiyo kakon molera kin kun jo pesha no ba molera ji chori yon tora anchi aita via Mula una chinek, bambule rasli moang na kubisking. Ha! Chachis kadon puta, kasabu baka, ho 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 ho. Mucha odonga, ya fulki, ho ho ho. Tawish mana wish, tonjo me ahak konong. Mule rayon umaze. Teaching we be one night a wish, mule ne bomi uba na tu la boda ya mi juice. Ayo no pis tu la ji yo kaku aku chikopa. Kino mule ra king paja slimo pui dua na. Ji yo kaku mule ra king kunjo pesha. No va a moler allí. Yo ni yo toro anchi. Ahí está tía. Pula una chine. Va a moler a Slimo Anna Kubiskin. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlong Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the Mysterious Stranger!
beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the dual rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the Lower City. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Terrace? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. Who dresses you? You look like you crawled up here from the lower city. Oh well, I guess we can't all have style. I mean, that quarantine must be tough in the off-world if stuck here. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some Teresian ale. It'll take away some of the sting. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Are you our waiter? Ghana's buying tonight. Talk to her to get my order. This Theresian ale is fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Let me enjoy my drink in peace. And I won't have to run you in for questioning. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. They'd be scouring the inner city looking for the Republic escape pods and they'd reek of the sewers. 
It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. That should keep them from closing this cantina down. You aren't from Terras, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my word, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. Are you certain? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Meet the legends before they were famous. All it will cost you is a small handful of credits. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. That's too bad. They really are charming fellows. Very well, then. I hope you enjoy the music. If you change your mind, come speak with me again. But I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay, my dad. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. Now I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway.